Greetings, everybody. So, Terra Pegos appears to be a super boss. And you know what? I thought about it for a little while, and I thought, I don't back down from challenges. So if I'm going to give it a shot, I'm going to give it a shot with whatever's left in the box. As you see on screen, there are only three Pokemon that still remain in this Nuzlocke. I hope this is the final. If this is not the finale, if this is not the end, there's no way I'm going to make it by this, if I even make it that far. I've got a strategy. I've got a strategy that I'm pretty confident in, and I've got something that I think will work. So I'm going to give it a shot right now. Here we go. There are no more punches pulled, Kieran. This is the end. There are no more parameters to be met. This is the last chance I have at redemption. Let's see if this Nuzlocke can finish strong. Are you ready? I am. All right, so there was uh, there was one thing that I had to double check. So th that's, I guess, the beauty of a blind Nuzlocke, right? I say if the team gets wiped, I'm not done. Um, so now I have some facts, but there was one thing I had to double check, and that was, does Leech Seed work on this? And as it turns out, the answer is kind of. Um, so apparently Leech Seed will work on the first run, but it will not work on the second run. Uh, I couldn't even find this, by the way. I had to just experiment myself. <laughs> so I ran in with a different Pokemon, but either way, uh, the reason that was so important is I am up against a wall, dude. I am way... Oh, yeah, that's right. I can... You know what? I can just Terrastalize, too. Let's go... Uh, let's go Leech Seed. Set up the Leech Seed. I believe that... You know what? This should be... This should be pretty simple, but the problem is the second form has a shield, so I can't really heal myself off of that second form i you know what i'm just gonna have to i'm gonna have to push it out and get to the terrestrialization form here i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to terra type when i get there is my only hope <laughs> nice all right so we set up the leech seed this one this one's gonna be pretty easy i think um do i even want a sunny day i could sunny day and set up and start messing around with that but i think probably the best thing for me to do is let's just use growth here and i don't want to use too many uh giga drains because i don't want to burn up all the pp that are on the giga drains so i got to be a little careful with the first stage first stage i think is going to be just fine but that's the whole point of it isn't it the first stage is always just fine the question is and i think i have my answer actually is i think what i'm going to do is on the second form I'm going to switch into Hitmonchan because Hitmonchan... Ooh, I actually did flinch there. Uh, Hitmonchan can't stand against this thing. He has Zen Headbutt. He can take it out instantly. However, I believe that that should be okay because um, she's going to be using Sinistra, Carmine is, and Sinistra is going to be dropping Rage Powders. So, yeah, he can use the Terra Star Storm, but at the end of the day, I'm not too concerned about Terra Star Storm. Well, I mean, I, I guess I am. I'm, I'm very concerned about Terra Star Storm. It's a very powerful attack. Um, so, or Stellar Star Storm or Terra Star Storm? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, one or the other. Either way, I am worried about that attack because the uh, Stellar Star Storm hits like crazy hard. But I know that I can at least, hopefully, I, I think I can, I can live it. And that's the important part. As long as I can live that uh, Stellar Star Storm. Oh my god, dude. Do I need to drop a sunny... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to drop a sunny day on you. I feel like I can Giga Drain you and take you out in a single shot. So let's uh, let's drop a sunny day really quickly. I don't think I have to worry about... It. I know sunny day... Oh my god. Dude, I'm flinching like crazy. Um, I don't think I have to worry about sunny days PP because... it. Well, you know what? Yeah. I'm not actually that low. Let's. I changed my mind. Let's go with Giga Drain. Stop flinching, Genorico. You are my my hopes and dreams are all held within you. I'm six stages up. This should be a one hit. Ah, uh, that is super close to being a one hit. Um, actually, wait a minute. Maybe this is a no. Never mind. I was gonna say it's a blessing in disguise, but she has the ability hospitality, so I can be missing a little bit of HP when I get into the battle. Um, I think that this should take him out. Did that finish him off? Yeah, he's done. 
All right, so the second form. This is where things are going to get dicey, and I really hope my strategy works here. We got one shot at this, Kieran. Otherwise, the Nuzlocke... The Nuzlocke... I extended it. I really did. I extended the Nuzlocke. But at the end of the day, I mean, I'm I'm extending it on my own grounds. But if it does fail, then yeah, I'll just finish it up on the recording. I don't consider the Nuzlocke a fail per se, but I would love if I can actually get through the final battle here without having to resort to non-Nuzlocke Pokemon. That would I, I would feel very accomplished about that. So I'm really hoping that Executor, our hopes and dreams are all pinned on you. If we can just get past the initial part where that shield is up and I can terrestrialize, I will be okay. I think. If I can get some growths. And, and you know what? I will say, I only have three Pokemon left. <laughs> you may see a few healing items here. I, as far as I'm concerned, as long as I can get a strategy that allows me to survive, then I'll be okay. Um, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's the idea, right? I'm devising a strategy. So... In normally, I don't enlist. I, I enlisted that rule of healing because I felt that during the Sword and Shield Nuzlocke, I was factoring in the fact that I can just boost up, boost up, set up, and then heal, go back to full health, and now I'm fully set up and there's no chance of weakening me. Um, but this is totally different. I think that if I have to drop a few healing items here, I'm not going to feel too bad about it because I have Pokemon that <laughs> their EV spread is crap. And not only that, in fact, I probably should have boosted their EV spread before the battle. Um, I don't have that many items, so I couldn't really do that. But uh, I could have gone and bought something, anything. Either way, uh, not only that, though, is I have three Pokemon. With three Pokemon, I think I can have just a few bent rules for me. So I already know that Leech Seed isn't going to work here because I couldn't afford to waste the move, you know. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. She's going to she's going to drop Rage Powder, but I think she uses... Uh, I don't know what order... I, is she using the same order of moves, I guess, is my concern. Um, I don't know... I don't know if that's going to be a concern or not, actually. So I feel like he's going to lead with Terra Star Storm. So... Stellar Star Storm? I don't remember what it's called. Um, so either way, I'm going to switch out into Hitmonchan and see if he can take the hit. Um... I don't know what Sinistra is going to do, but I wish that Sinistra would attack. That would that would at least help, but Rage Powder, of course, would help too. So, yeah, there we go. Rage Powder. All right, so Terra Star Storm attacks both of them. Is it? Yeah, Terra Star Storm. Did he miss? Oh, that is super lucky. That's right. I, pr I put Bright Powder on you for this reason, actually. So I was hoping that if I put Bright Powder on you, I would get away with a couple of them. All right, let's let's uh, let's see if we can, we can possibly attack here. In fact... Uh, do I want to use... Yeah, go with Drain Punch. Let's go just in case... Yeah, she's got Rage Powder. I don't know why she's spamming Rage Powder. Um, go ahead, Zen Headbutt on it. Oh, you do! You actually did! You Zen Headbutt... Yes, okay. I'm glad I didn't use Detect. All right, I wish that her Pokemon could survive a little bit here, but there we go. Let's start getting some punches out. All right, Hitmonchan. I'm not saying that... Ooh, I'm critting too. Here we go. All right, so... Oh, I'm excited. Strategy is working, man. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through this. Here we go. Uh, do I actually want to use agility and possibly speed up a little bit here? Actually, yes, we do use agility. Zen Headbutt is going to hit me. I didn't see Rage Powder go out. Ooh, hold that off. All right. I am now faster. Perfect. Let's see. Do you use Life Do? What do you use? I can survive. Macha gotcha. Okay. You know what? I'm good with this. So we're going to be using a little bit of healing here. Not a problem. I'm okay with this. She's attacking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a healing item and heal myself up. That bright powder, hopefully, will have all my hopes and dreams contained in it. I don't know. Do you think uh, Zen Headbutt only has 10 PP for him? Zen Headbutt. I was going to say, if there's a chance that you could miss this. Hey, what if... What if? Oh, you attacked... Oh, you attacked Sinistri. I was going to say... Uh, Sinistra, what if, uh, let's go Drain Punch here. Rage Powder, all right, so at least I get to live one more. I was going to say, maybe I could be the one that's protecting this because he'd be targeting me, but nice. All right, here we go. Zen Headbutt. 
and you take Sinistry out. All right, or Sinistra. All right. I was gonna say if it, she like or if Terra Pagos was targeting me, she could live actually because he would be prioritizing me. But unfortunately, he decided to go after her, so that's that's not really beneficial to me. Now's your chance. I'm not gonna terror terrestrialize Hitmonchan. In fact, what are the odds that I could get through this? Let's see if I can just let's see if I can just drain punch him. <laughs> All right, Zen Headbutt. I was going to say, uh, I, I could use Detect. Let's see. I don't know. I have no idea if... Uh, let's go with Detect. Let's see if he's got a certain amount of PP. Although, I guess that Terra Star Storm is pretty brutal in itself. Zen Headbutt. I'm curious. So, two things can happen here. The Bright Powder could protect me. Let's go ahead and heal up here. Um, the Bright Powder could protect me enough that I can dodge just a single attack. And honestly, the drain punch isn't going to be doing me enough. I, I don't even know. At this point, I just don't want to switch out. <laughs> um, I'm already... I've got the... Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, do I... Do I switch out? That's the question. Kieran, you are so not helping. Uh, do I switch out? Um... I could save Hitmonchan, but honestly, if uh, then the agility goes away, there's probably uh, there's there's like no chance here. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice you, but I want that safe switch. Um, let's go for Drain Punch. I don't want to spam healing items, so here's what we're gonna do: Drain Punch, and hope that this thing misses. But honestly, I need that safe switch. That's what we're gonna go for. All right, here goes. Zen Headbutt. All right, Hitmonchan, you have done the work I needed you to do. I can terrestrialize immediately with Executor. The only thing I want to watch out for is I want to set up before I terrestrialize. Let's do this very methodically. So we're going to set up a Sunny Day, Growth, Growth, Heal, and then terrestrialize and try to knock out his shield in a single shot. So here we go, Sunny Day. Unfortunately, Leech Seed does not work. Ooh, Terra Star Storm. We're going to be seeing those Terra Star Storms right away. Don't do half. Okay, good. I was going to say, as long as you don't do half, I'll be okay. Nice. All right, let's get six stages up here, and hopefully he just keeps spamming that. Here we go. Growth. Nice. All right, attack is up. That's, or well, special attack is the one I care about. That's two. All right, Terra Star Storm. That means I'm going to have to heal. I almost wonder if, yeah, maybe you could have had the Bright Powder. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Come to think of it, maybe I should have given you Bright Powder just to give you a, a last stay of execution, you know? If he was missing a couple of attacks every now and then, that would help a lot. Maybe I should have done that. I kind of feel bad now. I gave myself a seed instead because I wanted to be able to hit harder, but now I'm concerned that maybe that was a foolish move. All right, well, for now anyways, because I don't know. Let's let's go growth. Let's just let's get some growths out here. All right, there we go. Attack is up. I got a setup, man. He got a free setup, so you know what? I feel no shame in having to set up myself. There we go. Easy does it. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to heal myself one more time here, use growth, and then I'm going to terrestrialize and try to knock this guy out in, like, it's going to be a huge hit, dude. I'm going to hit with a Giga Drain so hard it's going to come down. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, I'm going to have to set up another sunny day, actually. So, I have to work on the, s the setup here a little bit, unfortunately. I don't mean to have to do that, but uh, unfortunately, I don't really have much of a choice. So, let's go with another growth, and then sunny day. So, uh, at least I get six stages up here. Like I say, a little bit healing to do it, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Ooh, I'm getting uh, dangerously close. I don't want to go down too far here. <laughs> All right. Technically, I also have Sunny Day on Porygon. If I, ha if I had to do that, if I had to switch out and drop a Sunny Day, I could. In fact, I probably could have done that to get two growths out without all these healing items. I could. Yeah, you probably have infinite PP, don't you, by the way? I'm just thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. How, could I stall you out? I don't think I can stall him out. I wonder if his other moves have infinite PP. All right, let's, uh, let's go sunny day, and then we'll heal up, and then that's it, man. It's time to attack. Hopefully, the Giga Drain's going to come down so hard I heal back everything I lost. Oof, man, going down to 33, I don't like that, but sunny day, let's go. 
Executor, our hopes and dreams are all on you, my friend. Everything I am. Everything about this Nuzlocke. If I'm going to truly do this challenge how I would love to do it, which is to beat Terrapagos without leaving my Nuzlocke Pokemon team, without having to forfeit the challenge, which it's not even forfeiting it. It's just saying, oh, well, actually, the challenge ended with Kirin, but I don't want to have to do that. Oh, let's drop this Giga Drain. Here we go. Even she's like, oh my god, he just set up six stages. He's going to kill this thing. All right, you have, you have, your special attack is in the moon right now. It's in orbit. Let's go. Outspeed. Giga Drain killed in one shot. Ooh, took its shield down, dude. All right. Heal full, heal full. Yes, I did. I actually did heal full. Nice. All right. Yes, there we go. There we go, man. Terrapagos absorbed terrestrial energy. What? Well, that's not good. It absorbed terrestrial energy? I, yeah, um, okay. So now what happens? Energy has begun to, uh, oh, no. Oh, he's got another shield. Dude, no. Okay. Um, don't attack. It put up a barrier of uh, such strength. Did it use its terrestrial energy it absorbed to do so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Dude, come in and help. It's no good. I'm useless. I need somebody. Uh, all right. Well, I'm six stages up, and I've got a sunny day out. Let's hit him with a Giga Drain. Nice. All right. So do I... Yeah, I got to do the same thing then. I mean, unfortunately, that was at full health, but... Uh, all right, so he's still using Terra Star Storm. Don't switch types. Okay, I was going to say, I, I hope that that didn't do anything different. Giga Drain again. It doesn't do anything, unfortunately, because he's got a shield up. But you know what? We're, we're hanging in there. And then I'll have to I'll have to cheese it a little bit here. We're gonna be using uh, we're gonna be using sunny days healing. You know you see the strategy. All right, don't yeah. I was gonna say the sunlight's gonna fade. All right, well. Oh, I I already got it. Okay, so it's only two. Perfect. All right, so I can. Here's what we're gonna do. Full restore. Let's get that sunny day back out and destroy this thing. Maybe I can hold this thing off after all. All right, back to full HP. All good. We just got to hang in there. That Terra Star Storm is not making me feel comfortable, but uh, let's go ahead Sunny Day so that I outspeed him. Terra Star Storm again. Hits. As long as it keeps leaving me with 40 to 33 health somewhere in there. Uh, do you think... Oh, I don't want to risk it. I was going to say, we're too far in, man. I, I've already burned up so many healing items that I've thrown the rule of limited healing items out the window. Um, I was going to say what I could do if I wanted to risk it was terrestrialize Giga Drain and see if I kill him in a single shot. Uh, I don't have the guts for that because if I don't kill him and then he kills me and then the whole thing falls apart, it's like, oh, man, I went through all that work for nothing. It's the same effect, really. I mean, we're just ignoring the healing item. I'm going to terrestrialize. I'm going to hit him with a six-stage plus Giga Drain. And if I one-shot him, I go back to full health. Nice. All right, let's do this. One shot, one shot, one shot. Kill him in a single shot. Ooh, see? It didn't kill him in a single shot. I would have messed up royally there. I would have been really far up a creek. That's why we didn't risk it. Terra Star Storm should not should not hit that hard. Oh, that's not good. All of a sudden, it's super effective. I dropped my psychic typing out, and so he does switch types. He absolutely does switch types there. All right, so we take him out. He doesn't get an attack when that shield breaks. I think that's what happens here. So I should be. I should be okay, sort of. What happens now, though? Can I at least get Kieran to come in here? He absorbed my terrestrial energy, breaks my terrestrial form. All right, I deserve to have Kieran come in here and help me. 
Come on, Kieran. It absorbed terrestrial energy yet again. Surely it can't keep doing that over and over. Yeah, his HP is coming down, man. Yes! Help me get in here and throw a Pokemon out here. Come on. I can't help anyone. Kieran, get over your emotional crap. Let's do this together. I'm dying out here. Thank you, Kieran. Any Pokemon you've got is better than nothing. Thank you, Kieran. Jeez, I was like, when is this guy going to stop being useless? Yes, thank you. He threw Hydrapple out there. Dude, this is perfect. All right. Now you take care of that part, and I will go ahead and uh, and I will keep... Okay, here's his, his last barrier, I hope. Oh, no, he's going to have one more after this. All right, so he's going to have another... Ooh, it changed its type. Kieran. I'll help out, too. Kieran, thank you for just put the depression on the back burner for five seconds. Better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to... All right, uh, we're good. We're good. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to full restore up now, heal myself up. What type did he change to? I have the uh, I have the sunny day out. Let's see what Kieran's... If, if Kieran can take care of attacking, then maybe I can terrestrialize without having to worry about too much stuff here. I was going to say, watch Kieran just die in two seconds. All right, good. He's attacking. Super effective. Is this thing a water type right now? Terra Pagos, did you just go into a freaking water type? Your speed's down... I, I wonder. I'm going to I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm going to go for a sunny day, but I do, actually. I didn't even have to. I, I didn't even have to use that sunny day. He, I should have just waited. He is now slow, so I don't have to worry about it. I always outspeed. 24-7, man. I'm always outspeeding this guy. All right. Critical hit. Ooh, that was nasty. All right. Tell me that that counts. Tell me that that counts and that we can... No, we can't. I was going to say, all right, so drop a full restore. I was going to say, do I have to attack or when can I terrestrialize? That's going to be the question I have. When can I actually terrestrialize? Dragon Cheer, what did this do again? It's a... Yeah, I was going to say, it did something. I don't remember what it was. Crits? Higher crits? Yeah. Getting pumped, I can crit. Um, I mean, if I have to, I can crit. All right, so I've got the sunny day out. It doesn't even matter. I don't even need sunny day anymore, honestly. All right, so your speed just keeps going down. It doesn't matter. I, don't, I no longer require sunny day at all. Let's attack. All right, do I need three attacks to terrestrialize? Or it, since that was three right there, can I terrestrialize right now? All right, so do we have to do this without terror typing? Or is it, it's just dependent on me, apparently. Uh, yeah, Kieran, I appreciate the help, but, uh, I mean, no, Kieran, you did everything you had to do. Oh, you know what? What if he has other Pokemon, though? Was that his only Pokemon, like Carmine? Because he didn't say anything like, yes, oh, hell yeah, he's got Dragonite. We are not done yet, dude. Yes, he's got Pokemon. This is sweet. All right. Yes, I'm spamming full restores. You have to understand the position I'm in. I don't even have a full team. <laughs> I did this. Nice. I did this without having to release, you know, or not. Uh, I didn't have to leave the Nuzlocke Pokemon. Oh, nice. I was going to say, if he gets paralyzed a couple times. Actually, it doesn't matter. You're so slow. At least I don't even have to have Sunny Day out anymore. All right, here we go. So it's, it's dependent on me, apparently, or if it's not dependent on me, then we're just stuck at the point now where we can't we cannot we cannot terratype anymore. We cannot terrestrialize. All right, let's see. Can I? Yeah, I guess we're just we're gonna have to do this part without terrestrializing, which is fine because I've got Kieran. So as long as I've got Kieran, then uh, then I've got multiple attacks coming out, and he's got multiple Pokemon. So this may be a super battle. This may be a super boss. But you know what? I'm not uh, I'm not worried about losing now. I can do this. Because Kieran isn't absolutely useless. He's got a full team. So even though I was at a massive disadvantage and I don't have any Pokemon left, I'm down to now two Pokemon left out of the entire Nuzlocke run. At the very least. Oh, he, he couldn't move. All right. I was going to say, I know I'm just spamming heals, but now it's time to not spam. Now it's time to attack. By the way, he is landing these thunders like crazy. Yeah, this thing is a water type, by the way. That really helped me out. 
Sort of, anyways. His shield is kind of making this a pain, but uh, regardless, at least I was able to do this without resorting to, uh, to, or I shouldn't say resorting to, but at least I could do this, you know, without having to worry about the fact that I don't have the type advantage. All right. Sorry, just one second there. So I can terrastalize Giga Drain. It did let me... Oh, you, you know what, actually, I wonder. Did it say that I could terrastalize and I've just been ignoring it? I didn't even see, honestly. Is he going to put up one final shield and then that's it? We're done? I wasn't paying attention because she didn't say anything about now terrastalize your Pokemon. I wonder if the... I didn't even pay attention if that Terra type was available to me. All right, well, either way, let's take him out right now. Take his full HP bar out. Uh, yeah, I got one more shield to go. I'm worried because if he goes into a fire type, I'm I'm in deep problems here. But I do have Kirin now, so... All right, broke its stance. One more shield. Here we go. Last shield. And let me guess, it's like the most OP shield of them all. It looks like it can't absorb any more energy and put up another barrier, or to put up another barrier, a time to attack. Time to end this to you two. You have my permission to go all out. Dude, all right, we're good. We're good. He's, he's dead. I'm six stages up, and he's paralyzed and slower than me. He's dead. This is it. Is he still a water type? If he is still a water type, this thing is done. Oh, yes. Dude, I did not have to do it. I mean, I know I, I, I changed the rules a little bit, but I didn't have to leave the Nuzlocke behind to beat him. Oh, don't tell me I can catch him. I was going to say, if I catch him, Kieran's going to explode. Look, he's tiny again. Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. I mean, okay, so you are. You're giving it to me. I know I can count on you, Nita Marky. You got this. All right, so... <laughs> I, I like how he's uh, letting me do it now. Uh, throw it in great balls of fire. So Terrapagos, number one, I have to imagine we can find other Terrapagos. But then number two is, I don't ask me why I thought this, but I thought that this was like the pre-evolution to Terrapagos. I even said something about that in the first recording. Dude, I survived with Genorico. The Union of Geninjus and Noriko. And I was able to survive this. I was able to survive this with their power, channeling through one last shiny Pokemon. Is it over? Briar is going to turn on us. I know she is. Is everyone okay? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Don't worry. Are you kidding me? I lost a whole Nuzlocke team to get to this point. Thank goodness. What a relief. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. Okay, maybe, maybe you should be. You can. You were completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You got to keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I messed up too. I looked up to Nino Marquis for so long. I wanted to be like him so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I don't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally, I can let it go. You're really cool too, Kieran. You actually did help me like crazy at the end there. You weren't useless, but I just... Oh, he broke down and let the uh, the emo go. He let the, the emo just leave him. I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. You finally let it go. How... Man, this guy must have been messed up for a while. You two must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. Brilliant like a diamond, huh? You were truly dazzling. And in the end, our Nito Marquis even managed to catch Terra Pagos. So I think that we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. I like how we're just leaving. Like, this place is a nightmare, dude. There's time machines that almost caused probably the end of the world. And then there's Pokemon that are ancient and... Oh, it's a cutscene. Whew, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No, scratch that. I need to publish... I didn't see what she said. Hey, Nita Marquis? Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. 
maybe this is it. Maybe we're done. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology, including you. Yeah, you should probably check on Crispin, man. Uh, so I'm sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, I want to make things right. I wonder if this music was from Black and White as well. So do you think... Oh, not another battle, please. No more battles. We could start over from zero and be friends again. Hey! Dude, we're going to leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. All right, so... Hey... I dig it, actually. This is this was a nice ending to it. Is it is it gonna say the end? Is it actually the end, dude? If that's the end, I am so proud of myself. I it is. I finished it, dude. <laughs> I did it. I mean. It was a long road to get here. There were a ton of deaths, but I mean, look at it. Dude, I beat the Indigo Disc Nuzlocke. The hidden treasure of Area Zero. I cut past the credits because I noticed that uh, I think the... Oh, that's... Dude, okay, I dig that. Where we started, where we ended. I definitely dig that. I cut past the credits because there was a song in there. And, uh, ooh, post-game, a little bit of off-the-stream, or I shouldn't say off-the-recording stuff that I get to mess around with. This is announcement for the following student, Nino Marquis from Uva Academy, Miss Breyer, and she has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. All right, yeah, it, I think we can, uh, we can run over here really quickly and just do this part, and then I'll call it a stream. Stream, this isn't a stream. Sorry, I'll call it a recording there. Meet up with Miss Briar. What you got? One last cutscene. One last thing to figure out. Glad to see you. You feeling rested and recovered after our big adventure down in the depths? Yep. Feeling great. Finish the Nuzlocke. All is well and done. Youth is really an uh, incredible thing. I didn't see what it said. Uh, I'm still feeling all wrung out despite having been back for a while now. But on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book. But don't worry, I've made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila, a proof copy of the book freshly delivered from my publisher just for you. A copy of Briar's book. So you just profited off of like a near-death experience of mine. Thanks. A, a proof copy of the exploration notes covering the Area Zero under depths. It's filled with long paragraphs describing what happened along with Briar's thoughts. I behaved recklessly in the under depths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. Here, I'll even sign the first copy for you. <laughs> Ah, there's something else I needed to check with you. Uh, would you mind showing me your Terra Orb? Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kieran's and Carmine's. I think it might be because your orbs were directly exposed to the energy from Terra Pagos. Kieran and Carmine say that ever since the Underdepths, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their Terra Orbs. So now I'm OP. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to those deepest depths. By the way, for anybody that doesn't know, the reason I say I'm OP is because one of the rules in the Nuzlocke was that I was not, in the base Nuzlocke, was that I wasn't going to heal very often. So basically, route to route, I would go in survival mode, meaning that you terror, you terrestrialize once, and then, you know what, that's it. No terrestrializing after uh, until you've reached the next point. You know the terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling of the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to st uh, stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds. But the other day, I tried adding crystals I'd collected from the underdepths to that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result? Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium, and they have the stellar terror type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Effects of Stellar Type. Uh, boost your moves, but only once per type. After you use a move, no other moves of the same type will get boosted. In terror raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limits. Oh, and there's one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance. That's all I have to report for now. 
Thanks for setting aside some time to chat. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave it to you. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terra Pagos. Till then. Well, I believe it is time for me to call it a Nuzlocke and move on to what I have also been waiting for is the ability to do a little shiny hunting down here. There are legendaries that are now down here as well. I'd like to catch those, of course. Now, you can't shiny hunt those. Not a big deal, honestly. I will go ahead and uh, shiny hunt a few of the starters that now popped up. And I would love to actually access... I didn't. Ne I never used the, uh, the machine that allows you to sync with other Pokemon and then fly around with Pokemon. So I got a few things I'm going to finally enjoy. But you know what? The fun part, the challenge part, I've got enough of it. I got it out of my veins. And I call that a win, dude. A true win either. I didn't have to cop out and say that Kieran was the end of the Nuzlocke. That was a win. I love it, dude. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. It's another fine addition to the Nuzlocke series that I have on my channel, and it was a victory. So thank you for standing by me. Thank you for enjoying the series. You guys take care. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see out of this. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in streams. And don't worry, I'm still shiny hunting Shaman and Brilliant Diamond. In fact, I'm hunting Cresselia and Regular Diamond. I'm hunting across a ton of games. I am not going anywhere. You guys take care. Thank you very much. Truly humble and proud. I am Nito Marquis, and thank you all for the great memories and great times.